In today's video, we are going to adjust the elevations that we exported from Archicad. We are equally going to do the roof plan. To be able to adjust our elevations, we are going to right click on the line. On the drop down menu, we are going to select similar and um, we are going to place it on a layer and give it a line thickness. So go to properties, then on line thickness, we'll give it a line thickness of 0 0.5. Click on match properties and match some of the layers. After matching the properties of the walls, we now set our drawing to black and white. Okay, let's export this drawing and convert to black and white. So I just have to highlight over the building. Click on the explode command. I repeat the command twice. Then I select all. Move to properties. Change the color to white. We have our elevations in black and white. We move to the ground floor and um, right click on the drop down menu. We are going to choose move or copy. Create a copy, then you move to end. To have a new layer, layout tab created as GF2. We'll rename it as elevation. Click on the paper space. Zoom in the drawing. As we can see, two of the elevations can go on one paper. So we are just going to adjust this way. Click back on the model space for the paper to be like this. And uh, move to the model space. Copy. The elevation and bring them close together click on the elevation and we have something like this adjust the elevation by moving it a little bit for the parapets to clink so it's perfectly made and you can now zoom in and see our elevations to the roof the first thing we do is we select over the roof and explode it twice so click on the explode command and do it the second time okay we want our rafter to be spaced at one meter fifty and the thickness of the rafter wants it to be 0 0.5 so i'm going to offset 0 0.05 and um, i'm just going to drag it and move it 0 0.05 so we'll put we'll type in 1.55 to the next and um, i'm just going to use the series of progression from this side we are going to copy and we'll just do it just for a small area then so we can form a circle so i want uh, i'll just copy the, the first two and go with it up the next thing is the polline the polline i want my polines to be spaced 90 so i'm just going to come over here and um form my polines to be 90 and my polines will be four centimeter by four centimeters so in meters i'm going to type in 0 0.04 and uh, move it 0 0.94 then i'm just going to extend we are going to form a circle so click on the circle command and um, form a circle around this then we are going to trim the extra elements you click on annotate Choose linear dimension and we are going to form it 1.5. So our rafters will be spaced 1.5 and our polines will be spaced 0 0.9. So you just click between the polines and um, it will be spaced 0 0.9. So you can now delete the extra things that we just used to place the rafters. And we are going to hash the roof to our home tab. Click on hash command. And we are going to use the ANSI 32. So just search for ANSI 32 and give it an angle of 45 degrees. Then we are going to place our roof. So as you can see, our roof are on two sides. One is going behind, one is going in front. So we, I'm just going to move to the GI app template and uh, copy these arrows to show our direction of roof fall. So we want our, our roof is falling this way. So I'm just going to Click on the two commands, click on the rotate command and um, rotate it to face up. So the roof is falling this side and this other side. To dimension the roof, click on the rectangle command and uh, form the roof area. Explode 0 0.7 and another 0 0.7. For the first 
line we are going to dimension the roof bends and for the second one we are going to do the overall dimension go to annotate tab click on linear dimensions and uh, the first bend continuous dimension move our 0 0.6 down to the center the last one will be the overall dimension And we are going to repeat the same thing throughout the roof. Okay, now we we'll just delete the lines that we're using. And this is the full view of our roof. Then we are going to do some annotations. And um, to be able to do that, the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll click on the line tool. Click here and and x0 here to explain i'm going to equally do it for this other element put in the letter so i'm just going to come to palo and copy in palo here bring it down to the annotation so here i have um the elements that are going up are the polines so i'm going to open the dimension and uh, rename polines in the section of the pole, I'm going to put in bracket 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. Then I'll close the bracket. I'm going to copy it and uh, move with it down. The next item I have down is the rafter. So I'm going to exit the pole line and put here rafter. And the section of the rafter is 5 centimeters by 12 centimeters. Remember, these things will be adjusted when we have done our calculations on Autodex robot for the roof. So we are just putting the architectural dimensions, but it might be changed. Then we are going to also denote what is inside here. Here's the gutter. And uh, we have the parapet wall. So this is our roof details for now. This is the architectural roof detail. When we have done the calculations of Autodex robot, we are going to come and complete it. To so move to the layout tab and um, move or create a copy. Move to the end. And uh, rename that, rename that copy roof plan. And um, move into the roof plan, click on model space. Just zoom in and look for the roof and keep here. So here is our roof. Remember, in GI Arc, all our drawings are black and white. So navigate back to the model space, select the whole drawing, move to properties and um, change the color to white. Copy this, move up, and uh, trim. So I'm going to call this a wall so that the wall is separate. So we have a wall. That's it. Move to the layout tab and look at the roof. And um, we can have the roof 880 by 1180. The poline, the rafter, and the dimensions, and everything is all great. In the next tutorial, we're going to do our homework plan. And this is in preparation for our robot analysis. If you enjoy this content, please make sure you like and um, subscribe. So you always keep seeing our contents. And if you want us to be uploading more content on this, please let us know in our comment section.